the last thing you're asked to do in this trig transformations investigation is to look at the effect of plussing C. Um, I've taken away 45 here because a common mistake is to think that that number there is the y-intercept. That can be true sometimes. There is a relationship with the y-intercept in this transformation, but it is not true to say that that number there is always the y-intercept. Let's have a look. So that's why the minus 45 is here. Let's have a look. Uh, here's the y equals sine x minus 45. I've labelled it. Here's, in red, the sine x minus 45 plus c. So I can use a constant controller to change that c. Uh, and if I do, you can see that currently c is at 1, but the y-intercept is not 1. Okay, that's why there's a minus 45 there. Your aim is to see what is the effect of changing that y. I've changed, uh, of this changing the c. I've changed the step here to 1, so that as I click the arrows, it only changes by whole numbers to begin with. And already, I imagine in your head, you're forming some ideas about what the effect of that is. Now, to really get to the bottom of what's happening here, it's not so much the maximum and minimums by themselves that are important. It's more the midpoint between the maximum and the minimum. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a point on the curve uh, where the maximum occurs, which is, this is going up in every two is 45 degrees, so that's at 135. And the minimum is occurring at enter a coordinate on the line. So let me do that again, sorry. So I should have chosen enter. I'm going to have to click off the curve, click back on the curve, right click, because I really want the point to be on the curve and it's going to have to be at 315 and you'll see in this table i haven't asked you for the maximum and minimum i've asked you to find the midway point the midpoint between the maximum and minimum to do that you add the maximum and the minimum divide by two or in autograph um, you plot where the maximum point is and where the minimum point is i've got the shift key held down as i select those two points the shift key on the keyboard i right click over the point making sure the there's still that square box around the point, so I know it's selected. And I choose midpoint, and I can even do midpoint on curve. And you just about can make out the midpoint on the curve as occurred there. And if I um, ask to see that in a text box, or again, if I click on it and go to, as we did earlier, view and status box, I can see that the coordinate of the Y is 2. So the midpoint of the maximum minimum when I've done plus two is, let me just check that again, is two. So I can put that in there, that's two. You're gonna repeat the same for four, so I could change that to four. And again, I want the midpoint, and I can see that it's changed in the status box here to four. So I'm gonna enter that in four. And so on and so forth for decimals and negative numbers as you did before and can you predict finally what's going to happen in this case and for any c value again explain and maybe do a family plot options family plot varying that c value all the way from minus five to five and going up by one to begin with you could then change that to decimals and don't forget you can right click on any of those curves and then you can ask it to text box the equation in so you can see clearly what the value of c used was for each of those graphs in the family plot to label before you save it uh, up to your teacher if they want you to do this as well